All the promises of God are good. All the promises of God are true. Good morning. Today's Tuesday. It's August the 24th. The Lord says many times in Scripture to many different people, individuals, and groups, do not be afraid. We can put our confidence in him. We can trust him, and we cannot be afraid. I'll remind you of if we had a theme verse, this might be it, Joshua 21, 45, not one word of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed, all came to pass. We know the Lord made many promises. He promises to do good things, and he keeps his promise every time. All through scripture, we see promises that God fulfills. His word does not return void or empty. Isaiah 55, 11, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth, it shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. You know, we look at a different theme each day, and I want to read some scriptures, some of God's promises today regarding fear and being fearful. And I give these verses to us to remind us again of God's promises that we have nothing to fear, nothing to be afraid of when we trust him. Read these verses as often as necessary to have victory over fear. Don't let fear have a place in your life. Trust God. He'll, he'll answer you. He'll help you. He'll be with you. There are a lot of scriptures speaking to the subject of fear. It's one, one topic I think that's good to look at again and again uh, to read more scriptures on the subject. So for today, we've got a few verses, some from the Psalms, maybe a couple from the Gospels. I think one from Romans, but let's look at these and see what the word says. <clears throat> First of all, Psalm 91 and verse 4, he will cover you with his wings and under his wings you'll find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday, that's Psalm 91, 4, 5, and 6. Psalm 23, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Psalm 27, David said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Verse 3, though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. That's 27, 1, 2, and 3. Let's go to John, the Gospel of John, chapter 14. Jesus is speaking. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Amen. That's the Lord's word himself. Um, Romans. Let's go to Romans chapter 8. Paul says in verse 37, In all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Verse 38, I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Those are good words. Read those again if you need to. Don't be afraid. You can trust God. We have no reason to fear. He hears us. He helps us. He'll be with us. Uh, as as the psalmist said, even in the valley of the shadow of death. We'll fear no evil. Let's seek the Lord. Call on him. He'll hear. He'll forgive. The Bible says, all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Call on the Lord today. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we come to you thankful for these encouraging words of, uh, of your presence, your help, your hand upon us. Lord, I pray your people would not be afraid. Lord, that you would fulfill your promises in our lives and Give us the peace that you promised, Lord. I speak that to your people today. Peace in our hearts, peace in our minds. Keep our emotions, keep our intellect, Lord. Our hope in you, our trust in you is strong. Lord, I pray that fear would just dry up and leave and that people would not be afraid of, of anything, Lord. Nothing will harm them. We thank you, Lord. We bless you. Keep your hand upon your people. Give strength, give healing, give encouragement today, we pray. We give you praise, we give you, we give you glory, and we say thank you for all that you do. Amen.
Amen. Well, God bless you, church. Good to be with you this Tuesday. No video tomorrow, Wednesday. We have Bible study and prayer in the sanctuary, 7 o'clock. I hope you can join us. Pray you have a great day. Stay cool. God bless.